Astronomers have made a groundbreaking discovery. A black hole that is 32 billion times the mass of the Sun and has a mass 32 billion times that of the Sun. The event horizon of this black hole, which is the point where matter and light can no longer turn back, has a width that is 1300 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. This means that if it were in the middle of the solar system, its edge would be far out in space between the stars 2.7 billion light years from us, in the center of a huge cluster, is where the ultra-massive black hole mass is found at the heart of a galaxy. The fact that astronomers were able to measure the black hole's mass using a method that had never been done before is remarkable. This is a historic accomplishment in the field. So how did astronomers figure out how much mass the black hole had? How is it possible to figure out what a black hole is like without seeing it? Lastly, and most importantly, why is this finding so important for astronomy? Before we start, I want you to look closely at this image. At first glance, it might look like a normal picture, but it shows something remarkable. A galaxy about 10 billion light years away and a cluster about 5 billion light years away are both depicted in this amazing image. Due to gravitational lensing, where light from a faraway galaxy bends around a large object with a strong gravitational field put between the galaxy and the observer, the arc-shaped pattern is created. The arcs in this image are not distorted pictures of different galaxies, but rather multiple photos of the same galaxy, which is a remarkable feature of this image. Because of the huge object's gravity, the light bends around it and makes it look like it's coming from more than one place. The huge galaxy cluster works as a lens, bending the light from the galaxy to make these beautiful arcs. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon that Albert Einstein first described in 1912. It has become a very important tool for astronomers. It not only lets us study galaxies and stars far away, but it also makes their light brighter. Distant things look bigger and brighter as a result of this phenomenon, which makes them easier to see through a telescope. The discovery of Erendel, the most distant single star known, shows how powerful gravitational lensing can be. This is because gravitational lensing can cause significant magnification factors. So lensing is astronomers' best friend because it lets them see parts of the universe that would otherwise be hidden. Astronomers have made a remarkable discovery about the strong lensing ability of the brightest cluster galaxy, or BCG, in a huge cluster called Abel 1201. If a galaxy is the brightest one in a group of galaxies, it is called the Brightest Cluster Galaxy, or BCG. This BCG is a CD galaxy, which usually refers to the brightest elliptical galaxy at the center of a group of galaxies. CD can also mean central dominant galaxy in a less official way. This image contains all the information needed to understand how astronomers discovered the huge black hole mass by enlarging an image of another galaxy. Let's start with this piece. It's important for three reasons. The first is the bright area in the middle. The CD galaxy in the Abel 1201 galaxy cluster acts like a lens. The second is a large arch that can be seen at the top. It's the warped image of the galaxy in the background. And finally, there is a tiny arc called the counter image of the same background galaxy. Pay attention to the second column now. These are the pictures that have had the bright lensing galaxy taken out of them. This column only has the two arcs of the background galaxy that was bent by the lens. Look at the third column, which is the last one. It is a larger version of the counter. A number of years ago, astronomers found the main arc. The black hole's mass was calculated to be around 25 billion solar masses by studying the gravity effects on the motion of stars. But later, astronomers found a second arc that was the mirror image of the first one. The counter-arc discovery is important because it reveals something truly remarkable about this system. For the mirror image to form so close to the bright center of the galaxy, it took more mass. So astronomers ran different models with different masses to match the data they had seen. Pay close attention to these pictures from the study paper. The model in the left column doesn't have a black hole, but the model in the right column does. The black hole in the right column weighs about 10 billion solar masses. It is clear that only in the presence of a black hole does the shape of the counter image change. Hubble was used to look at the shape of the counter image, and the right column model fits it well. 
In order to produce the odd shape of the counter image, the presence of a supermassive black hole is therefore required. Astronomers ran extra models with different masses to figure out the exact mass of the black hole. The model that fit observations the best was thought to have a mass of 32.7 billion solar masses. Astronomers also came up with a possible upper limit for the black hole's mass by running models with masses ranging from 0 to 100 billion solar masses. The model differs from the observation once the mass reaches 53 billion solar masses because the distance from the bright center of the galaxy at which the counter image forms rises. So, astronomers said that the black hole's mass could not be more than 53 billion solar masses. This black hole is an ultra-massive black hole because it has 32.7 billion solar masses. The new way that the black hole's mass was measured is another interesting thing about this discovery. As was already said, the mass estimate for this black hole was calculated by studying the motion of the stars around it. This is a common method used in astronomy. Another common method is to look at the light from gas falling into the black hole. But gravity lensing, which is a less common way to measure mass, was used in this work. This method worked, giving a more exact reading of the mass that was at least 7 billion solar masses higher than the previous estimate. This important discovery shows how powerful gravitational lensing is. It is also the first time the mass of a black hole has been estimated without the rare observation of a central image. The center image is one of the many distorted pictures of the background galaxy that form close to the hard-to-find central object. That's because the bright lensing galaxy is brighter than the dim image in the center. The M-sigma relation is a very important link between the mass of a black hole at the center of a galaxy and the way the galaxy's speed is spread out. On the graph that shows this relationship, the mass values and upper limit from this study are shown by a black point and a downward arrow. These measurements of black hole mass were made using different methods. This ultra-massive black hole's mass velocity dispersion relation falls within the two-sigma anomaly of the linear graph. This shows that gravitational lensing is a safe way to measure the masses of black holes. Therefore, the mass measurement of this ultra-massive black hole high light demonstrates the importance of gravitational lensing, which will help us understand how these mysterious things have changed over time. Scientists have recently found things that don't fit with the standard model of astronomy. Their research shows that dark matter might not even exist, which means that our idea of gravity is wrong. 